Across the storied history of Northwestern wrestling, Mike McMullen is part of an exclusive club to earn four All-America honors in his career. Overall, McMullen compiled the 103 and 23 record while at Northwestern, and his 817 winning percentage ranks ninth all-time in program history. Against the elite competition of the country's best wrestling conference, he finished top five of the Big Ten championships in each year of his career and captured the heavyweight title as a senior in 2015. In four trips to the NCAA championships as one of the nation's lightest and most athletic heavyweights, McMullen finished among the top three on the podium each year, including a runner-up result in 2013. McMullen also was selected to compete in the NWCA All-Star Classic three times during his career, the only Wildcat to do so. Join me in welcoming to the Athletic Hall of Fame from wrestling, Mike McMullen. I still remember my visit to Northwestern during my senior year of high school in 2009. I grew up one of eight children in a large Irish Catholic family just outside of Philadelphia. As you can imagine, with that many bodies to account for, traveling long distances wasn't exactly the easiest. As such, my perspective on the world was generally confined to how far our E350 15-passenger white van, otherwise known as the family car, could take us within the mid-Atlantic region. So I felt like an astronaut having the opportunity to get on an airplane and travel to another time zone. I still to this day remember driving back from Midway Airport up Lakeshore Drive during the fall in awe that this lake had beaches and water that looked just like the Jersey Shore. I remember standing at the southern point of the Lakeville on campus and staring south at the Chicago skyline. In that moment, it was all sinking in. The possibility of attending a world-class university with an incredible history, the possibility of wrestling in the Big Ten Conference, which is akin to SEC football in our sport, and the possibility of obtaining the skills, the education, and the confidence to leave small town Pennsylvania and become an independent, competent professional who could have the means to live in the bustling, exciting city of Chicago. In that moment, that was my vision for my experience at Northwestern. Standing here 13 years later, I can say unequivocally that Northwestern far exceeded my expectations. Uh, and I'm so lucky that 17-year-old me was provided the opportunity to make the move out to the Midwest. As one of eight from a working class family, I could have never dreamed of being offered a full scholarship to pursue both my academic and athletic goals in the best environment possible during my college years. I took this investment Northwestern made in me incredibly seriously and wanted to ensure the coaching staff and the university that the dollars they invested in me were well spent. Northwestern has an incredibly special place in my heart and I'm so honored to be inducted into the Athletics Hall of Fame this year. I showed up freshman year as a slightly larger than what you see before you. Uh, Want to be Big Ten heavyweight wrestler. So for those of you unfamiliar with the sport of wrestling, there are 10 weight classes. Heavyweight's the largest weight class. Um, the second largest weight class is 197 pounds. The weight limit for heavyweight's 285 pounds. That means anyone who's more than 197 pounds, but less than 285 pounds, technically qualifies as a heavyweight. Coming out of high school as a soaking wet, 215 pounds. I had a lot of work to do if I was gonna be competitive, tussling with Midwestern farm boys, 30 to 50 pounds heavier than me for the next four to five years. Fortunate for me, the support system I had here was all in on helping me achieve my goals and provided the guidance, the motivation, and the inspiration I needed to remain driven. 
There are too many people to thank that contributed to my success from the strength and conditioning team, the athletic training staff, academic support staff, general athletic administration, and most directly my wrestling coaches, one of which is here today. I met coach Matt Storniolo, otherwise known as Storny, during my visit back in 2009. He had just left Old Dominion and was in his first season with Northwestern. When I got in the room, I always admired Storny's ability to break down complicated wrestling concepts into easy to follow steps. His unique perspective on the sport and differentiated approach to technique really resonated with me, and I found myself itching to absorb as much of his creativity as possible. In addition to the technical guidance I got from Storny as an athlete, I've always admired his warm demeanor and ability to truly empathize with what I was going through during the heart of the wrestling season. As most of you know, winter in Chicago is pretty tough, but a Big Ten wrestling winter hits a little bit different. Um, think seasonal depression, but you don't get to celebrate the holidays because you're competing, and you have to fight people 40 pounds bigger than you twice a week. If you drop a few matches during that stint, it's pretty easy to start feeling sorry for yourself and watch all the work throughout the summer and fall unravel right before you. Through these tough times, Storny always kept things positive and light, which I needed in a sport where stoicism and seriousness was the prevailing school of thought. He has been able to help me and so many others keep our minds right so that we can be the best versions of ourselves each time we step on the mat. I'm not surprised to see how far he's taken the program since I graduated in 2015, and I stand here as a proud alum and super excited for what the future holds for Northwestern Wrestling with him at the helm. My opportunity at Northwestern and the accolades I was able to achieve as a student athlete here have fundamentally altered the trajectory of my life. I'm forever indebted to this university for taking a chance on me as an undersized heavyweight wrestler. I'm so excited to share this moment with my fiance, Rachel, my future in-laws, my mentor, Frank Petito, and Storney. Thank you to everyone who impacted my experience during my time here as an athlete, and congratulations to all the other inductees. Go Cats.